I am the Divine Mother. Beloved ones, we wish to welcome you into your new world now that you've had a week or two to feel out the new energies. While it still may not be apparent to many people that anything happened during the shift, we can assure you that much has indeed happened. As was witnessed by some who are presently embodied on the planet among you, the very structure that previously supported the third dimension has been removed by those great beings who constructed it in the first place. Your world and everything upon it has been moved up into the fourth dimension and will now move gradually into the fifth dimension, as more people begin to feel the heart-based feminine energies that are now available to anyone. The work done by the light workers on the planet has been extraordinary, your devotion to the cause exemplary. Now the entire universe will benefit from your work, as well as that portion of the Earth's population who are yet unawake, but whose higher selves wish for them to also ascend. We thank you for your astonishing generosity of spirit, beloved ones of the collective of humanity. For those of you who are still dissatisfied with the outcome of shift, we apologize profusely for any misunderstandings or expectations that were not met. Part of the misunderstanding, if one existed, stems from semantics, the use of language and the ability of our messengers to accurately convey our messages. Another part of the problem, if one exists, is that sometimes the human mind, and ego, has difficulty in understanding that we work on a different time frame. We do not work from dates, but from levels of energy. And there are always changes in plans. However, the time period of December 12th, 12 to December 23rd, 12 was quite extraordinary. Due to the very expectations, hopes and desires of those focusing on the potentiality of ascension, your combined efforts enabled the legions of heaven to lift up the planet and humanity into a lighter vibration, lower density plane. As we have stated earlier, a transformation of your world has taken place, just not in the manner expected by some. It will take some time, in your terms, for the changes to be apparent in the physical. However, those among you who are particularly sensitive have already experienced a noticeable difference in the energies. Those who have the gift and ability of clairvoyance have witnessed a change in the light radiating from the planet and surrounds, the darkness that had invaded the lower dimensions of your world is gone. All that formerly supported the continuance of the rigid structure of three-dimensional life is now gone. All the structures that were created in 3D are now without inner support, like a building from which the primary supports have been withdrawn, they will collapse. Still, patience is required for those who look to see outward changes. We remind you, gently, to first look within if you desire to see and experience changes in your world. You are all co-creators, your thoughts as a collective create the world in which you live. Although multiple timelines do exist and intermingle, it is still up to the collective of the timeline in which you find your major focus that will determine what you experience. We encourage you to leave the structures of the old energy to fall into decay on their own. Placing your focus upon them or resisting them in any way gives these structures power, at least for a short time. Focus instead on your own inner journey. You have all done the work, whether in full consciousness or not, at some level your multidimensional being has been involved in the great shift, the one long predicted by many cultures across the globe. In heaven, we work with long cycles. This shift was expected for a long time as it came at the end of one world and the beginning of another. Yet with all change, there is some crossover and gradual loosening of old bonds and ways of thinking that need to be done, even as new ways of living and thinking become more common with the passage of time. You, our beloved and hard-working light workers, are needed here on the planet, to continue to hold the light and to be examples of how to live in the new energies. We encourage you to play with the energies, first to see if you do sense any differences. Some light workers, although very awake, aware and able have not yet tapped into their higher abilities, clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience and others. Do not fret or be disturbed by this apparent lack that you may be experiencing. As the tension and stress attributed to the old energies begins to leave your bodies, you will begin to naturally open up to feeling, seeing and hearing new things. Other abilities will also manifest as your higher selves begin to be able to merge and anchor into your physical body. Work on learning to balance and calm your emotional body, 
as it is one of the sensitive bodies that absorb a lot of information, but which is blocked when you are upset, angry, and anxious or in fear. Clearing the emotional body of fear will enable you to access higher functions of intuition. And do learn to take a moment or two, or much longer, to spend time with yourself in a quiet place so you can listen, simply listen for the quiet voice within. If you feel that it is yourself talking in your head, you are correct. What is being said is another issue. If your ego is trying to dominate the conversation, the message will be controlling, even negative in its wording. In contrast, the voice of your higher self will be gentle, calm and sometimes even funny. Our messenger can attest to the humor of her guides, she has enjoyed many a chuckle or laugh due to a wry comment or two. There is much to learn or remember for now you are opening up to the realization that you are truly multidimensional beings, existing at once on many different planes. Your higher bodies communicate with other soul extensions and members of their soul monad or families, as well as communicate with other greater beings whose bodies encompass planets, stars and even universes. We do not relate this to make you feel intimidated, but to encourage you to explore your new world, step by step, in a manner that will not lead to overwhelm. Seasoned light workers are being situated to offer assistance, if needed, along the way to fifth dimensional living and you may call on us, Father Mother God, the Archangels, the Angels and Ascended Masters, as well as upon your galactic brethren for assistance. For now, this assistance will be mostly on an energetic level, but in time when more of your population are feeling better adjusted, our assistance will become more physically apparent. Particular dates and predictions will not be given out as that only leads to expectations and disappointments. To quicken your own personal ascension, we encourage you to look out sources to teach you meditation and relaxation techniques. Listen to how you feel about anything that you explore. If your body begins to tighten up and you feel stressed or anxious, then whatever you are exploring is not for you. You are in charge of your ascension. It is a process but can be speeded up according to how much you apply yourself to the work. And there will be some who float naturally along with the energies and do not have to do any work that is apparent to an onlooker. However, be aware that many light workers have embodied with little or no karma, and have already attained ascension in other worlds and planes numerous times. They are here with you to anchor a greater light quotient to keep the energy level of the general population high enough to sustain the continuance of the ascension process for all. In doing this sacred work, they are contributing to the whole of creation, for the entire universe is being affected by the work being done here. We are quite pleased by what has taken place on Earth. From the darkest, most dense planet of the third dimension she has literally been transformed. And she will, again, take her rightful place as one of the most beautiful planets existing within this universe. We hope that many of you will choose to linger upon her as she is raised up in vibration and becomes as bright as a star. There is much to be done to heal her physical body, but also much potential for the use of creative energies to assist in this work of the new age. If you are still experiencing disappointment and sorrow, please call upon us for comfort. Our nurturing feminine energies can bring a relaxation and release to whatever is bothering you. It is possible that you also may need to work on journaling or doing some other inner kinds of work as this great change will bring up much that needs to be healed. In the process of everyday living in 3D, much was stuffed down in order to be able to function in the restricted manner in which the 3D world required. While it was never meant to be so restrictive, it became so. The resulting traumas and emotional upsets are still stored in the tissue and cells of your physical body, manifesting as pain heat or cold. Call upon the healing angels and the gentle Arcturians to assist you in these healings. We encourage you to release now all judgment of those who participated in the darkest episodes, and to some degree, still persist, of your old world, they will have to undergo a life review upon leaving this world. We can assure you that self-judgment is far more severe than anything that the heavenly hosts would choose to dish out. These ones will suffer remorse and even dismay at what they have done when they experience it through their own bodies. Leave that punishment and vengeance to the outplaying of natural law. 
and work on releasing your own sense of self-judgment that has been taken on in as a result of living in a constrictive environment with many laws and expectations, most of them false, unattainable or designed to control and intimidate the population. In our eyes, you are perfect. As you expand your sense of self, you will also begin to experience the wonder of your being. You are all beautiful light beings, whose light brilliantly shines through the massive aura of your planet. We love all of you and admire your determination to sustain the work through many lifetimes, despite all of the resistance, pain and trauma that you have endured. There will come a time when you will be able to review much of what has transpired here, to see and even experience some of your currently suppressed history, that which has been untold or buried by your erstwhile controllers. Much will be revealed. Much will astonish you. You have worked hard and the way will become easier as you move into the new energies. Be open to what comes. There will be much opportunity and changes coming for those who are able to focus their intent and dreams into being. It is a wondrous new world that you are entering. A childlike sense of wonder, an ability to open your mind to possibilities and a determination to meet the challenges that will come will give all a new sense of being alive. You have finally struck free of the bonds that held you back. Use your creative powers to create the world in which you want to live. Bring it into manifestation and discover the wonders of your multidimensionality, as well as the endless opportunities, joy and wonders that will unfold to those who go forth with eyes open and senses expectant. Beloved ones, we love you so much. Go forth with our blessings. We wish you well on your journey of discovery. Namaste. Thank you, beloved Divine Mother.